What's going on everybody? This is Ray from Exploring Florida Waterways and Mark, we have a super exciting Exploring Florida Waterways episode for you. We are in the middle of the state today. We are in Eustis, Florida. Right behind me guys, we have Lake Eustis and we are here to get a real Florida tour with real Florida boat tours with Captain David. Are you guys ready? Oh yeah. yeah. What you are you know most it. excited about this adventure? Um, I don't know. I want to see some animals that we don't see over near where we live. So the so wildlife, much. huh? Yeah. What about you, Ava? Gators. Gators? You excited about gators? That's right. We really haven't had a gator experience yet. No. Brooke, what are you excited about? So I'm excited that Mark and Ava get to do this because we did a swamp tour in Louisiana a couple years ago, Ray and I. So well, I'm this just is excited. a little different than a swamp well, tour. Well, kind of less swampy. Yeah, but we're gonna see like gators and birds and not wild pigs. Not wild pigs. Uh, there might be Ava actually. So again, guys, so we'll see. We are super excited for today. Now let's head on over and meet our captain. Yes, you, go, you going on a boat ride? Yes. Awesome. You're, you're first, time, first time on this water? Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> this you is are Brooke. 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 Nice Captain to meet you. Nice Thank you very much for having us. Mark. Nice Mark. to meet you, Captain nice to meet David. You. Captain David? And Ray. Oh my gosh, nice pleasure to meet, to meet you. you. Yeah. Finally. Absolutely. We are super excited about this today. Yeah, we're glad to have you guys. So can you tell us a little bit more about what you're, where you plan on taking us today? Yeah, we're going to go, uh, we've got the Harris Chain of Lakes here. We've got seven lakes that all connect. All seven lakes you can get to by boat. Over 80,000 acres of fresh water at your disposal. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah it's really, really cool. Um, a lot of people don't realize this, but you can take a boat or a jet ski awesome. from right here in Eustis, Florida and navigate all the way to Jacksonville, Florida and go right out into the Atlantic Ocean from right here. That's all navigable waters. I never knew that. We're going to have to take, we're going to have to do that one day. That was my big surprise for you when you came here. I was going to let you know that that is a nice journey. Awesome. Well, we got to make that journey happen, Captain we David. We are. I'm going to tell you all about it on the boat and uh, it's a good adventure. But today you're on a good adventure. We're going to the Dora Canal. Heck yeah, let's go. Heck yeah. Let's, let's explore. All right. Take a look at this. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. This is incredible. It's so relaxing. 
is a weekend. Uh, we may see a lot of boats, especially on the way back. Because you got to remember, this is the only way to get to the other lakes. Got it. So the way we're going, we can get it to three more lakes. So if you look on the go out this way where those boats are coming from and they're going into the Dead River and they're flowing okay. south, that'll take them into Lake Harris. Now, if you look behind you, that's 7,800 acres of water. Lake Harris is 15,500 acres of water. Wow. So double the size of what you're on now. So the Dora Canal, uh, many years ago, this was referred to as the Elfin River. This is an all-natural waterway. The Elephant it's River? Elfin. Oh, Elfin. Elfin River. Got it, Elfin River. It's, it's an all-natural waterway. Now, I will tell you, the only thing they've ever done in here was back in, eight, in the 1880s. There were portions of this that were narrow and a little shallow, and they hired 70 men with hand shovels to come in and dig out portions of that area. Now, the reason they did that, oranges. This was all the citrus capital of the entire world. And before Henry Flagler brought the railroads over to this portion of the state, they had boats, 100 foot long, steam powered, eight foot wide, and they would take citrus to Jacksonville to port, put on a big ship. And Guys, this is the first, epic. Uh, the first uh, portion here is gonna be an all protected cypress swamp. And the second portion, we're going to go buy some old trailer parks that have been here since the 1950s. And they're grandfathered in. Guys, welcome to the Dora Canal. See the little baby gator? Let's zoom in. What an awesome place. So these trees, Captain David was just telling me, an inch? A year? They, grow, they grow about an inch per year. Uh, that's their growth rate, and that's that's uh, length and diameter. Now, they are protected because it's a hard, dense lumber. They are termite, water, and rot resistant, which makes them very sought after for building material. So they put them under protection. Um, you can't even take dead cypress out of here when you get a fine. Uh, we take our cypress serious. As you should. Absolutely. You gotta protect, you know, these uh, natural wonders. That, that will hurt or kill the tree. It does not. It's actually an air plant and it's getting all of its nutrients from the moisture and air. It's actually a member of the pineapple family. Interesting. Yeah, Spanish moss is a member of the pineapple family. It's also the reason for the very first automotive recall in the history of the United States. Uh, I, I don't see the correlation, so you're going to have to tell me more here. Henry Ford who was one of the cheapest businessmen that ever lived. He loved Florida and he spent a lot of time here throughout his life. As we know, he had his winter home in Fort Myers. But being so cheap, he saw that Spanish moss in the trees and he said to himself, you know, I can get trucks from Michigan. We'll go down, we'll, we'll harvest this. We'll take it up to the assembly plants and we'll stuff the Model T seat cushions with it to save money on raw material. Fantastic idea. 
But people were buying brand new Model T Fords and they were driving down the roads and they were getting their rear ends all eaten up by chiggers. Oh, jeez. The little red bug. So they had to recall all of those Model T Fords. <laughs> Ford Motor Company took a frown a year later and they turned it upside down and they came up with their very first slogan. And it was, aren't you itching to buy a Ford? Mm. It works. I mean, it's a, that's marketing at its finest. Absolutely. It took a frown, turned it upside down. Now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go off the Dora Canal for a moment and I'm gonna take you down this little side cut. All right guys, so we are going off the Dora Canal as Captain David just mentioned here. We are going down this side cap. Side cut. Or side cut. Dude, look at this tree. Wow, look at that. We have here on the Dora Canal and around the Harris Chain of Lakes, we have uh, found in the past, archeological digs have been done here and they have found uh, evidence of Timaquan Indians a little more than 600 years ago and Seminole Indians a little bit more than 200 years ago. So we did have uh, that type of civilization back here. And absolutely, the, the food source was phenomenal back then. A lot of waterways, a lot of places to, uh, to spearfish or however they would uh, gain their, uh, to gain their food for the family. But yeah, this is just, this is real Florida, guys. This is, it does, it's untouched. This is the Florida we've been dying to explore. Yeah, mm -hmm. untouched. Of course I want to hear your take. I want to know why anything's called Boston okay, Florida. Okay, so a guy from Boston came down years and years ago. He loved it. He put it in pots and fertilized it. And he took it up to the little mom and pop stores in Boston and sold it as potted plants. And that's why you can go to a Walmart or a Lowe's or Home Depot and you can buy it in a potted plant now. Now, a lot of people buy them and they die after a week. They need constant moisture. That's why they thrive in the cypress swamp. There's 100% moisture in here year round, a lot of rainfall, just a beautiful area. guys so we are back on the Dora Canal here take a photo yeah. you can see a great blue heron here's a Blue Heron on Old Cypress Slide. So those points coming out of the water, the top of those are soft and porous, and that allows oxygen and nutrients to the Right in here, these things. That's awesome. That's awesome. Back in the 40s and 50s, they were sawing those off and they were shellacking them. And they were selling them, they were making table lamps, paperweights, whatever they could, and they would sell them on the side of the road. When I was a kid, you'd see those being sold on the side of the road. Uh, you can't do that any longer. Obviously, if you cut those, you're gonna kill the cypress. And again, they are protected, so leave them as they are. See the gator over there? You can see him. Yep.
So speaking of fish, any species species in, in particular here? Or? Yeah, so you have, um, we have, you know, we're known as the largemouth bass capital of Florida. We have bass masters here, collegiate tournaments. So we have largemouth bass, we have striped bass, which is a hybrid. We have perch, speckled perch, which they call crappie up north. We have sunfish, bluegill, shellcracker. We got three different kinds of catfish. And what I like to tell people about those three different kind of catfish is that's blackened, fried, or broiled. But no, we do have three different kinds of catfish. I, I, I like blackened. We also have tilapia in our waters that were introduced some years ago to help clean up some of the vegetation in the water. And they do an excellent job. We have a lot of tilapia in our waters. Awesome. A lot. I would have never expected tilapia yeah. to be in here. Yep. But I guess it makes sense. It does. Yep. Keep the water clean. Yep. Doing our best. So we are looking for baby gators. They should be about three weeks old. And they should be on top of this I I log. Them. I think we see them. Wow. Guys, look at them right there. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. So awesome. Now, mommy is here. She's somewhere uh, in the water protecting them. There's another one right there. I don't know if you guys can see it on that log over there. There's a couple on that log. Little baby gators, guys. Three weeks old? About three weeks old, yeah. Male or female? That's a very good question. Because <laughs> I don't know what the air temperature was when she hatched them. Is Wait, does the air temperature really matter here? Or are you just... If the air temperature... <laughs> so she'll, she'll lay 50 eggs respectfully. Okay. If the air temperature is 92 degrees or higher, they'll all be female. If it's 92 degrees or less, they'll all be male. Interesting. So as far as the alligators, uh, the moms lay around 50 eggs. And she'll lay those eggs. They incubate for 90 days. And then they'll hatch. And the only negative thing is only about 6% will live to be an adult. Is that just because of all the, you know, non-natural hazardous conditions, I mean, cars, like what, like what no, drives that? No, it's really not human related. It's more of a natural uh, food chain. Uh, Largemouth bass will eat a baby when it's hatched, once it's in the water. Interesting. Um, I thought it was human. No, uh, ospreys, eagles. I've seen ospreys and eagles take foot, foot and a half alligators up to a nest. Wow. <laughs> for the babies, so yeah. There's a lot going against it. Oh. Um, alligators are cannibals. So if mom's hungry enough, she'll eat half the brood. Mm. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot going against it. So, you know, out of a 50 eggs, if we could get four or five to live to be eight, nine foot, that's pretty cool. That is yeah. pretty cool. So they grow about an average of a foot per year. Once they reach about seven feet or seven years, their metabolism slows down. The remainder of their life, they'll grow about an inch per year. So let's just okay. say you see an eight foot alligator, 40, 45 years old. In the wild, if they can live out their full term, they'll live 50, 55 years in the wild. In a captive state, well over 100 years. Wow. Well over 100. Are you having a good time? Yes, I am. What's your favorite part so far? Seeing gators. You like seeing the gators, huh? Weren't you a little worried about the gators earlier? Oh, the doggy. Let's see the doggy. Oh, there's the doggy. So that's the, that, that's the trick, right, to kayaking? Let the dog pull you. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. In the city of Tiberi, um, this is Tiberi Park. So this is Summerall, this is Summerall Park. It's named after General Summerall. He was a World War II veteran that grew up here, so they named the park after him. And something you don't find too much in freshwater, but we have a dolphin. There's a dolphin out here, guys. There's even a dolphin. So you see everything here when you are on a real Florida tour that with Captain David. So apparently this is a trash can from SeaWorld. How did they get a trash can from SeaWorld? They just packed it up on their back? Packed it up and brought it here, I guess. Wow, All right, guys, so we are approaching Lake Dora. Lake Dora is six and a half miles long. And how wide? And a mile wide, Lake Dora, guys. 
Look at how beautiful it is out here. Feel that air? That feels good. Guys, that is the Dora Queen. Dora Queen. but there's a sea plane coming in here. As you can see guys, this area is known for seaplanes. So um, when in the summertime? So in the summer they have a seaplane palooza out here. I don't know if you guys can, if I pan over here, if you guys can see the airplanes. So cool. This is freaking so cool. All right guys, so we are in front of Wooten Park. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little splash park here. I don't know if you guys can see the seaplane. Cool little place here, Wooten Park. Ava, so tell us a little bit about your experience so far. We've been out here all morning. What do you, anything you want to say so far? We saw this really cool plane coming in. What else? Alligators out in the wild. They were babies. Anything else? A lot of cool birds? Yeah. A lot of cool birds. There's definitely a lot of cool wildlife. We got people here living the sea do life. Captain David, that was awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Awesome, I awesome, awesome. You Thank you guys again. If you have not done a real Florida boat tour with Captain David, this is definitely a must do. Ava, what do you got to tell everybody? Like this video, comment what you loved about this video, and also subscribe and turn on the bell. Awesome, you guys heard her. Captain David, how do people find you? Ding, ding. Ding, real ding. RealFloridaBoatTours.com. Real Florida Love boat. Love to have you guys. RealFloridaBoatTours.com, guys. Definitely go check them out. Captain David, again, man, thank you so much, man. This was such a blast. The family absolutely loved it. I thoroughly mm -hmm. enjoyed taking you guys out. Yep. Awesome. Mark, was, what was your favorite thing about this? Dude, honestly, it was just being out there. Did you guys see where we were? It felt like we were in a rainforest or something, dude. I did not feel like we were in Florida. It definitely felt like but a rainforest. But it is Florida. <laughs> yeah. it is, it's the real Most Florida. That's the real, That's the real Florida. Florida. That is yeah. the real Florida. Yep. Look. Exactly. I had a great time. Thank you so much. You're what welcome. did you enjoy the most? The scenery. The, the scenery. scenery? Yeah. I, yeah think, I knew you were going to say the scenery. Very peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Ava, what did you enjoy the most? Um, everything. Everything? You saw little baby gators? Right? Those are probably like my favorite. The get baby gators? You ready to go grab one? No. You want to go eat one? No. Maybe not a baby gator, but big gator. Z, <laughs> anything you want to say? It's absolutely epic. Z? Especially on my birthday. 
Nothing better than that. Seriously, birthday. happy yeah. birthday, Z. You. you know what? And thank you so much for thank the drone you. footage, yeah. guys. This is the man behind the epic drone footage. So again, Z can. Happy thank birthday, you, and thank you yes, so sir. much for thank joining you. us. Again, Captain David, I can't shake your hand enough, man. This Thanks, was such guys. a blast. Thank yeah. you so much, man. Anytime. Love awesome. to have you again. Yeah. All right, guys, and we'll see you soon the next oh. time we go and explore Florida you waterways. Oh, we forgot something. What did we forget? Follow our adventures on Instagram and Facebook. That's right. Follow That's our important. adventures. At the, <laughs> follow our adventures on Instagram yeah. and Facebook as well. That's again, this is what keeps us going, guys. Till next time on Exploring Florida Waterways.